Welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Nur Chuck, and this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, aka the internet's most passionate wine program. And today I want to talk to you about St. Shinian. Uh, Mont, zoom in right here. I just want them to see this Appellation from St. Shinian, which is in the Languedoc Roussillon. Uh, it is between Minervois and Fougere. Uh, very interesting place. Uh, Carillon. Uh, Grenache, Syrah, Cinso are are uh, amongst some of the great bridles that are uh, are allowed. It's a very small place that a lot of people don't talk about, and I want to nerd it up a little bit and kind of get you out of your comfort zone. This is about expanding your palate. I want to talk about different places. Uh, by law, uh, Syrah, uh, Mouved, Grenache, and um, have to be at least 60% of the blend. Um, this is a really interesting part of the world that, in my opinion, brings a lot more quality uh, to the table than than a lot of places in France and in general is not uh, being talked up enough about. So let's get right into it. Let's first start with the Clos Bagatelle 2009 saint Chinian. And again, um, when you know, when you talk about this area, Carillon is usually the uh, place that most people get excited about. This wine is 40% Grenache, 20 Syrah, 20 Carillon, 10 Cinso, and 10 Mouved. Another bylaw within its uh, AOC is that, um, that uh, Cinso, Cinso or Carillon, da, 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 da. Carillon cannot be more than 40% of the blend. All right, let's give it a sniffy sniff. The first thing you'll notice on this wine is that you get this really interesting like strawberry, um, pie thing going on. It's a pretty small um, area, depending on how you look at it. There's about 7,000 acres um, in St. Chinian that are planted. Really nice bouquet, kind of floral, kind of strawberry, but also kind of almost chemically. Um, there's that kind of like carbonic maceration kind of thing, like that kind of like aerosol thing going on on the nose. So. Keep that in mind, let's give it a whirl. Big ripe fruit, ripe fruit. Very bright, very gamey. You know, you get this really interesting gamey, peppery, beef jerky, uh, almost like stew. I almost like taste stew in this wine. Inky, dark, dark chocolate, nice blueberry jam flavors coming through. This is a nice wine. To me, it's like an 87 point wine. Very serviceable for 13 bucks. A, a pretty darn good value. And I would recommend it. And I just think a lot of people are not paying attention to Saint Chinian at all. You know, in general, Languedoc, um, Roussillon is, is kind of under the radar. Minervois has some attention. Fougere's almost none. Um, and Saint Chinian as well, just not really that known. But this is a really nice wine. And the wines can be quite good. And they're very roamy. Uh, in their approach with you know the Grenache and the Cinso and the Carignan. So it's kind of wines that you should pay attention to. And this is pretty interesting. Um, this is one of the great wines, La Grange de Court Sousse, uh, 2006 Le Serio. Um Very, very interesting wine, $18, predominantly Syrah, uh, 88 points David Schoenick. Um, and, uh, and he uses a bunch of little different grapes. So this wine is a Vin de Pays. So you can see it does not say Shinian, Saint Shinian. It says Vin de Pays because he breaks the rules. But he is in the area, um, and um, and an interesting producer, one that's gotten a lot of controversy and a lot of press. Let's snippy snip it. This smells even darker and almost uh, more intense. Very dark in its approach. Almost smells like a cave. Very musty. Interesting. Let's give it a whirl. Good wine, very beefy. Again, notice how I said stew here and I said beefy here. These are gamey wines, almost for like a meat lover's wine. Very deep and dark and rich, and wines in general that I think people are going to be fascinated with. They're big wines, uh, they're under 20 bucks, and they're gamey and peppery and inky and, and just a, a lot of nice things going on with this wine. I feel like I want to eat this wine. I want to bite it more than I want to drink it because it, it, it alludes to like some hunger uh, it creates hunger, really. Just a really nice wine, deep wine. St. Chinian, very under the radar. 7,000 acres of pure, interesting, value-driven wines. Start exploring. It's not enough to just drink the Rhone. 
you know, it's time to kind of explore other parts of southern France and St. Shinian uh, deserves your attention. Question of the day, what do you know about St. Shinian? And more importantly, um, what, if you can't answer that, because that won't lead to a lot of comments and I want to see some comments, what's the nerdiest wine you've had lately? You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine.